Let's take a look at the cervical vertebrae. In this case, we're looking at C1, the uppermost cervical vertebrae, and C2. C1 is known as the atlas, C2 is the axis. They look rather different if you look at their morphology. If you look at the first cervical vertebrae, you're going to see that it has superior articular facets. These hold the occipital condyles of the skull. You're also going to see that it has an anterior arch and a posterior arch. Where is the body of C1? Well, if you look at C2, this represents the body of C1, which has stuck on C2 when this thing was developing embryologically. So this process is called the odontoid or dens. What does it do? If you turn your head, no. The first cervical vertebrae, the atlas, rotates upon the dens of the odontoid process. Let's take a look at this in a real skeleton. This is a real human skeleton. And again, you can see first cervical vertebrae being penetrated, if you will, by the odontoid process of the second cervical vertebrae.